Ben? Ben? This is Luke. Luke's a lot friendlier than Poppy. Mm. Poppy just wants to come out and roam around. <laughs> So Luke is maybe about five, six years old, and Poppy's a bit older. She's about eight, maybe seven. <laughs> so just, just be careful around Luke's back as well. He has a bad back. Oh. Large heads. The head is probably the, the biggest and <laughs> widest part of their body. They're designed that way so they know if they can get their head in a gap, the rest of that body will squeeze through behind them. No matter how friendly they are, they are at heart, they are wild animals. Want one to go mad Her name is Grumbles. <laughs> Don't let the name fool you, she's very friendly. She's earned that name because sometimes when I bring her down from the tree, she gives me a little bit of a grumble. I usually end up getting a little grumble from her. When she's getting the cuddle, she's nice and happy. <laughs> oh, sorry, girl. They've got five fingers on their hands. Yeah, good girl. Thank 
do is start eating. It's here. That could be. Oh, there's a lot of big food. Seeing the um, koala went down the ground. I want to see koala climb a tree. This looks like a kangaroo mouse because kangaroo mouses are way are like them but they like jump but they're way smaller than that. <laughs> He's picky. The next thing was, I think, here, maybe. Huh? Mm -hmm. Tigna passing by. Mm -hmm. Tigna is passing by. <laughs> so this does. Much too big to fly, but what they they make up for that with their running speed, they can run almost 50 kilometers an hour over quite a long distance as well. It runs naturally from under their skin up through that top layer of feathers to help keep them clean. And then the bottom. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. And put your hand up under it. It's very, always very warm underneath his feathers. Yes. Put it under. Wow. Yeah. Like wearing an instant coat. <laughs> yeah. And where they leave it. The wombats in the wild will do square shaped poos. And they like to leave those up on top of a fallen log or a rock or something. And that's how they build little markers for their territory. Is it like a cube? Almost. It has a few flat sides around it. So they, they know it's flat enough, that it's almost square enough that it's not going to roll away. So they'll climb up and leave a little pile or a little trail along. And they're building little... Okay. Want some of this, buddy? Would you like some? There you go. So when you come through, just come round to behind. And you can give them a little pat down the back. As long as Ollie doesn't get up and, and annoy us, because Ollie loves to chew on shoes. <laughs> Yes. But they do. Oh. 
here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, too. Wow. He doesn't grind his uh, he doesn't grind his own claws down anymore. He's getting too late. 